imvura itangira kugwa mu masambire mu masatatu ubwo yari maze kuba nyinshi nyine yaragwa gikaje yongera icucu muri icucu muri kongera gatangira gacucu muri gacu kajya nka kabindi bari kumenye none imiso ziracika pe iracika byimaze yo kuri ya muri kuyibona imaze gucika rero ingo ziragenda abantu baragenda imyaka iragenda amatungo aragenda utekereza ari kubera iki biri ku bungu ubu bitarabaye ukiri umwana ntekereza ko ari imihinda gurikire yenda yise only a few generations ago Rwanda was covered by rainforest but since then things have changed and in the spring of 2018 a rainy season that just wouldn't end tore away fragile bare hillsides all across western Rwanda, causing dozens of landslides and millions in damage. More than 200 people died, 20 in this village alone. Now their homes are abandoned, testament to the impacts of a changing landscape and climate. But it's also here, in the land of 1,000 hills, you'll find the story of a way to prevent tragedies like this and how this small country is taking on one of the world's biggest problems, climate change. A generation after the genocide that brought Rwanda to her knees, the economy is now booming with a gleaming capital full of skyscrapers and opportunity. It's driven in part by high-end tourism, like intimate encounters with mountain gorillas and treks through the verdant rainforest of Yungwe National Park. Yet hidden amidst the progress and lush beauty, a menace is smoldering, and you can see it every night just before dusk, the coiled smoke rising from cooking fires. Almost every household across Africa cooks the same way they always have, with sticks or charcoal over an open fire. The toxic smoke is terrible for people's health and for the environment causing more disease and death than HIV, TB, and malaria combined, creating unsustainable demands on the land and air. The erosion makes it harder for farmers to feed their families as the rich topsoil washes away, choking the rivers with mud. And each year, it's getting worse. Today, fully half of the population lives in areas considered to be highly susceptible to landslides. Making charcoal is a dirty, laborious process. Clear-cutting hillsides to pile up logs and branches, then lighting up a smoldering fire buried in an earthen kiln. Caustic smoke seeps into the community, day and night, until the charcoal is dug out, packed in bags, and hauled to the market. The impact is unsustainable, but families need to cook every day. And it's not just here. The problem is continent-wide as rising populations need ever more charcoal. So with every meal, the land will continue to be laid bare, sending precious topsoil downstream in floodwaters, while the climate gets ever warmer. But sometimes, just when things seem darkest, a reason for hope appears. Because now, there is a new way to cook that holds the promise to help stop the landslides and help reverse climate change. Our pellet fuel and stove system developed here in Rwanda cuts the amount of wood needed for cooking by 90%. It's so efficient, countries can begin to reverse deforestation and restore their landscapes. Cooking this way is fast, clean and easy and costs less than charcoal. So instead of spending hours a day getting fuel to cook and inhaling a smoky fire, time can be spent growing more food and earning more money to provide for their families. It's also safe. Mothers can leave dinner cooking on the stove and have time to help the kids with their schoolwork. And most importantly, this fuel plus stove system dramatically reduces CO2 emissions, cutting up to eight tons of carbon per year for every house compared to charcoal. If just half the households across Africa switched, it could cut up to half a billion tons of carbon every year. And as the forests regrow, they'll harvest countless tons more while stabilizing the steep hillsides. So now, when they're making dinner, they're helping make a big impact on cooling the planet one meal at a time. The solutions for fighting climate change aren't always clear. 
one of the most promising, it turns out, is right in the kitchen, cooking to cool the planet. A big idea from a tiny place on this small world we all share. Inyanyeri, Climate Smart Cooking for a Cooler Planet.